hello everyone my name is Edith in today video you guys know we are doing it badge by badge today is Monday Monday we do marriage and family stuff okay in today's episode I'll be showing you guys how to be an unforgettable woman I want us to talk about how can we be an unforgettable woman if you want to be an unforgettable woman please don't go stick by I will tell you what and what to do to be a, an unforgettable woman in a simple way. Welcome, this is Edith Family Care. In today's video, you remember I said on Mondays we'll be talking about marriage and relationship matters. In today's marriage and relationship matters program episode 2 we will be talking about how can we be an unforgettable woman I'm proud to be a woman number one oh god we are the people that move the world we are the people that build the world we are the one that multiply everything multipliable in this life and how can we be an unforgettable woman this is our goal this is my dream that I want every woman to be an unforgettable woman. How can you create? How can you make that? The woman that your husband will be proud of, the woman that your children will be proud of, the woman that people around you will be proud of. How can we be an unforgettable woman? This is what I want it to be, like a heartbeat of every woman. How can I be the best? How can I be? It's not that I'm not saying the best because we are competing. No, we are not competing. We are not into competition. But what I'm saying is that, how can we be an unforgettable woman? How can we be to our loved ones? How can we be? So here, without wasting your time, I'm going straight to the point. I just want to give you some points on the how you can be an unforgettable woman. Because I'm tired of uh, seeing women who are into relationship, they are not committed. I'm tired of seeing those who say that their mother, we don't know if they are slay queen or their mothers. I'm tired of seeing women who don't contribute nothing to their life or to their family or to their society. I want everybody to be on decks. So this is why I come up with this idea that I want to do this short video on how can we be an unforgettable woman, a woman that your husband or your siblings or your brothers or people around you can be saying, huh? If you were here, things wouldn't have been like this. If she was here, things wouldn't have been like that. So don't go, okay? Let's dig it together, together, together. Oh, oh I forgot, please. Merry Christmas to all my families and viewers and supporters of this uh, channel. May God Almighty bless you guys. Merry Christmas from my own home to your own home, okay? Merry Christmas to you all. So, uh, what is it? So, from my, from the things I want to talk, I think now I'm just giving, I want to be giving it some points, okay? Number one point, how we can be an unforgettable woman is kindness. Kindness. How can we be so, how can we be kind? Kindness help. So as I was saying, one of the qualities that makes a woman a woman is that women are the kind of uh, 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 creature that they care so much. They care even from when they are babies. You find out that their toy is always uh, one uh, doll. They buy a doll for you. You care for the doll. You shower the doll. You you feed the doll. I, I don't know some. It has a place here. My daughter. She always lay her baby, cover her shower her put a kind of cover but i find out that women of nowadays that when they grow up i don't know if they are trying to be like a man or that they don't care about anything they're becoming like a kind of what is called in israel here tomboy they don't like to care for people you even it's like a, you do me i do you kind of act or kind of a character this is not what will make you to be an unforgettable woman this is not the qualities that we know as a woman Men, the men, when they are small, their 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 toys is always gone and fight and things. You see a thing of fight, but women, we are we are caring. 
we are carrying uh, we are carrying uh, uh, beans naturally. So I don't know why women of these days they don't want to have that attitude in them, that attitude of caring, caring for your husband, caring for your children, caring for yourself, caring for your loved ones around you. We have to we have to go back to to that thing that God how God created us. We are the one that care. Men don't always care so much. Okay, please, I'm I, I'm I'm just pleading. And you see, kindness. Women are naturally kind. Women are naturally kind. If you want to be an unforgettable, unfor unforgettable woman, you must be kind. Be kind to others. Stop being, stop being just only me, me, myself. We have to go back to know how to care. Put kindness in people. You put, let God put kindness in you so that you can be able to care for people. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm getting cold here. Okay, uh, So we have to care for people. We have to bring that caring spirit that God put in us, that caring spirit that God put in us. And if you say that you love, as you always claim that ah, we love, we love, we love, we should truly love, not love of pretense, not not uh, what they call a uh, love of interest. Uh, because you are going to do, give me this, I'm going to take that. Men are the ones that do love of interest. Women are, uh, uh, they, are they, 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 they really care. Okay, women they really they really love with all their heart. You should be that woman, be that woman that will love with all her heart. Be that woman that will care with all your heart. Be that woman that will share kind, kind that will show kindness to others. You should try to be that woman, that woman that will be unforgettable. That people around you will always say, "Nah, if she was there." I remember this December, my house because my our little daughter. Our little sister, she's getting married. And the whole house is like so empty. A kind of arrangement, organizing. And my mom was saying, what? Had it been that she was around? By now, I have finished buying, doing my buying stuff and rest of them. And everywhere will be arranged. She will arrange what, will be, what uh, they're going to cook on Monday, what they're going to cook on Tuesday, what they're going to... This is the kind of people. You see? She's an unforgettable person in that house. Now she's getting married. She's going out. Everybody is feeling it. Everybody is thinking, what are we going to do? Because she's the kind of person that if she's there, everything will be organized. So we should try. We should try to be that. For you to be an unforgettable woman, you see respect. You see respect. You must respect. You must respect people around you. You must respect your spouse. You must respect your respect any. I don't know how to put it. Respect is, is a, a strong key that we're supposed to have to be an unforgettable woman in our family, in our marriages. Because when you don't respect men, see men and their respect. Men and respect as like a, it's like undetachable. It's not something you can take away from them. If you're not respecting men that is around you, if you don't have respect as a woman and you cannot respect the men around you, you keep on having issues with them. You keep on having one problem or the other with them. And when you don't respect them and they start complaining, you yourself will start complaining. And this is how our house will start being a kind of a, a, a problem up and down. So we should learn how to respect. We should learn how to respect our, our, our loved ones. Learn how to respect your man. Learn how to respect people around you. Okay? And when we say respect, you respect them in all angles. Not only respect because you are, you are royal, you are saying amen. You are saying amen, amen, amen. No. We should learn how to respect. Respect their time. Respect their things. Respect things that contain you and them. You should respect... Uh, well, how do I say? How would I put this? You should respect what is their secret. Keep their secret to be their secret. A lot of men don't like to hear their scores outside. A lot of people, a lot of men don't like people to hear the little secrets that you know about them outside it's better you should keep their secret their secret respect if you're respecting them respect them in all things not just in few things that concerns you if you're respecting respect in all things and uh, i'm talking about uh, men and they go if you want a man <laughs> uh, to respect you because they say respect is vice versa you should also equally respect their ego their ego is natural. It's not something that you can take away from them. 
You cannot take your man's ego out of him. You are trying to make your, your man that man. You are trying to do this. You are trying to do that. And you are not respecting his ego. You are not respecting him, uh, his secrets. You are not respecting uh, his things. Everything that concerns him. It will be difficult. So for you to be an unforgettable woman in that, in that man's life, you should please give him his respect. You should pr please respect his family. Men don't joke with their family. They can joke with your own family. That, that one is paining me so much. Because I talk to them a lot of time. They don't joke with their family. More especially if their mother is still alive and you want to joke with their mom. You have problem with them. So if you're respecting, you should be ready. If you are saying, I'm going to marry this man, be rest assured that you are marrying the mom. If the mom is still around, I have still alive. You are marrying the loved the, the family members and everything. Not to just come inside a man who has been living in this family for over more than 30 years. You just come and hang and pick him out and you want to push him and you want to pull him. You want to, him to be only for you yourself. It will never work. You must respect him. You must respect his family. You must respect his friends. People that you find around his life, in his life, when you come in, that, in the name of that marriage, please, you should try to respect him. Respect them. If you want that man to be with you, and you want that marriage to last, respect your man. Respect in everything. And don't joke with their ego. Give them their ego. Give them their ego. Sorry for that. So, as we are talking, as we are just saying, if you want to be an unforgettable woman, okay, if you want to be an unforgettable woman, you should please try to be compassionate. Be compassionate to others. Treat others how you would like others to treat you. Okay? Treat others how you would like others to treat you. Don't treat people anyhow and you want people to treat you with love and respect. As a woman that wants to be an unforgettable woman, we should try to treat others with compassion. Okay? Let's, excuse me, who's calling me? We should, we should try to treat others. Okay? How you want them to treat you. And also, hey, this one is something else. Unforgiving spirit. If you want to be an unforgettable woman, please stop keeping malice with people. Have an unforgivable spirit. Know how to forgive. <clears throat> Excuse me. Know how to forgive. Not uh, he do me, I say you, you say me, you do that, you do this. You must have a forgivable spirit. <clears throat> you must have a forgivable spirit. You must learn how to, how to forgive others. Anybody that you have any problem with, please, as this new year is coming, please try to start your life in a clean slate. Those people that offended you, your husband, your siblings, your aunties, your uncles, people that offended you, please learn how to forgive. Let people not know you. People should not know you with an unforgiving spirit. People should instead know you as a calm and forgivable spirit. I, I'm not saying that they should keep on doing it. The only thing you should know, you should understand in this life is that no one is perfect. I am not perfect and I'm not expecting you to be perfect. So if I can forgive your own mistakes, why can't you forgive mine? Please, let's learn how to forgive. Let's learn how to forgive each other. Learn to forgive in advance. Most of my video, I say it and I practice it. I, I forgive in advance. I forgive so much in advance. Let's learn how to forgive. Try to forgive people that offend you so that they can be able to, to forgive you. Stop saying I can never forgive him. I tell a story one time. I told somebody that uh, one woman was uh, complaining that uh, what the husband did to him, they are keeping, uh, they were not in good terms for many years. And no, I think it was somebody that told us the story how if you can be able to come to a heap of dustbin, and you start to take away those dustbins, and after taking them, you will see there is a floor, and you wash it, and look for some chemical and wash it out. You see that that floor has been there like that. If it's so the place was a tight place, and you allow people to keep a lot of baggages and garbages and dirty on top of it, if you can be able to take them, if you can be able to take them out and clean them, you find out that that floor is still the same. This is how our life is. If you have the heart. Have the courage to be able to take out all the garbages and packages that have been hit in that person's life or in between that relationship. 
you will find out that that life, that uh, relationship will still come back as it is before. And it's true that you may not be so perfect as it was, but gradually you can still build it up again. Please, let us learn to forgive. As a woman, let people know you with peace. Let people know you with happiness, joy. Being positive-minded. Learn how to add, how learn how to be positive-minded. Somebody is telling you that this is not possible. Say that it is possible. And see yourself as somebody who can do all things, who can do some things that you need to do. I don't see negativity. Whenever my, my, my friends and people around me, they know me very well. That whenever I tell me, ah, this one is difficult, you cannot do it, I'll just look at you. And I'll start it without saying nothing. And before you know it, I do it perfectly more than you think. Surround yourself with people with positive mindset. Surround yourself with people with positive thinking. So that you can be able to move mountains, you can be able to make things change. These are the kind of women that they call unforgettable women. Not women that see any little thing as one kind of big mountain. I cannot do it. I cannot do it. And that is it. Please, let's be courageous as a woman. And we have to be. Make yourself, add some value to yourself. Make yourself relevant. If you don't have anything to do, everything you're doing, you are not the kind of person that is working, your man or people around you will never take you serious. Make yourself to be somebody who has value. Add value to yourself. Add value. Even if you don't know how to, even this one I'm doing, I'm not perfect in it, but I keep on doing it. But some of you that know me and know my previous video will know that this is even not how it was. My video was even more, more, more poorer than this. But I'm not perfect yet, but I'm still moving. Add value to yourself. Do those things that you know that will make you happy. Not hiding your happiness away and looking for somebody to come and give you happiness. Like what I said in my previous video. Let's keep on add value. Add value to yourself. Surround yourself with people with positive mindset. It will help you so much. It will help you. It will make you to be one of the unforgettable women. Be a peacemaker. Be a loving woman. Some of you women, they like to challenge your men. My dear, you are doing a, a very big mistake. Why should you want to challenge, be challenging your man? He will say one, you will say two. He will say three, you will say four. After a highest thing, you say divorce. Single parents, single parents here and there. We are now amoebas that can be produced without any man around them. I see one that was crying in Facebook the other time. I'm tired of being a feminist, you know. I'm no longer a this, so I please, I want a man in my life. We should try. All these things, we should know what you are. Put value to yourself. Make yourself something that nobody will want to lose you. Being a woman is not only uh, I'm beautiful, I'm classy, I'm shapey, I'm this and that. All these, all these qualities are very beautiful. But add value to yourself. So that anyone that is in your life, any man that comes around your way, will never like to lose you. If you lose you, you know that you have lost something. This is how to be an unforgettable woman. So, uh, that's what, I think that's all I want to talk for today. And if you are not emotionally matured, please, men are not looking for babies. They are looking for matured women who can be able to take charge of the environment, charge of the house, charge of things around them. Women who can be creative. There is no food in the house. She will run and join one thing or the other and make food to be available. If you are the type that you have food at every lock and corner in your house, to God be the glory. But if you are not the type, try to be creative. Try to be intelligent. These are the things, these are the qualities of things that men want. That is what will make you an unforgettable woman. Let your man will say, even if I don't keep money at home, even if there's nothing at home, even if I don't have money to pay for house rent, I'm not even bothered because I know I have a strong woman in my life. Okay? Please, may God bless all women in the whole world and may God make us to be relevant and may God make us an unforgettable woman. Thank you so much. If you think that this video is relevant or you think it makes a little sense, small, small, small sense, please don't forget to put on your hit up the, the, the like button, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. 
those of you who are working, keep on subscribing. May God Almighty bless you guys. Okay, thank you so much. See you next Monday on Relationship and Marriage Matters.